so for losing weight is get a handle of what calories are going in. Okay. Like get a handle of what calories are going in. When people start tracking their calories, like I'm not expecting people should be tracking all year round, but just let's get a handle of what's going in here. So so on that, that that's, let's dive onto that because I think tracking is, is a really interesting one because how do people track you know is it, is it using an app is it writing it down and and for me in my experience this is one area that people get really fucking wrong um often people aren't losing weight because they're not in a deficit and sometimes it's because they're just delusional but often it's because they're just they're, they're just ignorant and they're yeah. getting it wrong so how would how do you advise people track calories how do well, you get a grip on it well i would use something like an app like you said so you're a tracking app now it depends on how rigid the client is so if you're dealing with a rigid client i know exactly what calories are in pretty much every food so if I give you a nutrition plan, I know, you know, and it's a really rigid nutrition plan, yeah. I'm, I'm going to know what calories you're taking on board. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll notify what your calories you're taking on board. However, just in regards to a person before they go and get a coach or before they go and go and manage, how they start to know what they're actually eating is just track for a week. Just track what you're, and I guarantee you, you're going to under eat compared to what you were doing beforehand because you're tracking anyway. So you'll come back going, oh God. And, and this is, again, this is where it, where coaching happens as well. We talk about the accuracy of your login. Mm -hmm. You know, we. This is what I was just about to say. I've had clients that have said to me, oh, I've been tracking all week and they've gone through and I've been like, all right, let's have a look. And we go and have a look and they're, they're substituting stuff. So, like, say they have a, I don't know, a wrap from, not from, not from Savings Week, they've made a wrap at home and they've not really weighed the chicken. They don't know how much sauce they've put in. They don't know the size of the wrap or they don't, you know what I mean? And then what they'll do is they'll go, oh, I've gone on to Sainsbury's and put in a- 300 calories. 350 yeah, like no calorie yeah. sweet chili wrap. And I'm like, yeah, no, problem. no, that's, that's, you've, you've made yourself like two 700 calorie wraps. Yeah. And then you're wondering well, the wrap, why. A wrap's, and that's, 200, that's, a wrap's 200 calories. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. 198 <laughs> calories. I think, something like that on thing or from Tesco's or yeah. whatever. But what I was trying to say is, is like, with people counting calories, they've got to be accurate. You know, they've got to get the fucking scales out. They've got to actually take the time to accurately do it. Don't cut corners with it. And that's where they make a lot of mistakes. What I would say there as well. So two, two things I would say there is first of all, yeah, the more accurate you're going to be, the better position you're going to be in moving forward as well. However, if somebody really genuinely can't be asked to track, but they really want to lose weight, obviously you've got to question how much they want to, but also, what I tend to, to give people is, mate, give yourself a little buffer. So I've given you 2,250 calories, right? Give yourself two, 2,100 or 2,000 calories. So you don't need to be weighing your fucking milk and your coffees. You don't need to be watching some of the sources that are going in because you know you've got that little buffer zone. And if I will change things on a weekly basis. Like that's a coach's job to go, well, hang on a minute. If someone's logging 1,200 calories and they're not losing weight, they ain't eating 1,200 calories over time. Like they ain't. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No one came out of a prisoner of war camp overweight. <laughs> That's Nobody came out, oh yeah, analogy. I've got thyroid issues. Mate, that you're controlled on these calories, like you will lose weight if you're sticking to it. Yeah. 